Okay. Archon, sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Hi. Ho. Ada status 42 consecutive unscheduled reboots. Halted. Operator required. Priority notification. Rain world detected. Extreme threat. Tower energy generation offline due to local interference. Mission priority. Leave world. Other priorities suspended. I have to agree with our aggressive friend. We should leave this world quickly. At least we have some common ground of agreement. There is that. Leave now, traveler. Founders hear these words. Help we need. Time of need is now. My brothers agree them I do. Leave. Founders hear our need. All right. A buried info cache. Better terraform down to it so Tara can reach it. This thing is why energy projection is offline. Nullifying it might restore production. So I see this world... Actually, it doesn't really have much here, which means... It's probably just going to be flowing in from off. Okay, well that's a shield generator. And what are these? Collect? Oh, do we have uh, solar panels? Maybe we do. Alright. Well... Let's start over here. Because I bet we're going to need this. I bet things get bad fast. Oh. Oh, tower energy production is offline, of course. All right, let's start with... I see. Yep. It's raining. So I bet we get the shield generator on this one. It is literally raining creep. I love the visual for this. It's cool. We're probably super boned very fast. Okay, terraform. You... Oh, it is going. Honestly, we're not spending a whole lot of power here. So I'm, I'm going to get to this first, and then we'll figure out the rest. I guess other thing I should probably look into very quickly... Uh... Really just missiles. It's a bit of a deficit now that I realize I'm doing this, but that's okay. Once we get all of these, we'll be fine. This is probably going to be one of the deepest maps I ever do. And if we're lucky, the shield generator just keeps everything off of me. But if it doesn't, I don't know. Gosh. Yeah, we're going to have to daisy chain shield generators. That's the only way I can see this working. All right, uh, let's see. Let's speed this up. This is going to take a while. Now, it looks like these are supposed to be Collector Pa... It doesn't say the full name. They look like they're supposed to be solar generators or something. Okay. Archon Subsystem Shield V1.1. Use passive defense against Creeper. Ruling Council Regulations. Approved for use only by council members in good standing. All council dues must be fully paid and up to date. Ha, ah, what is this, a library? Use forbidden within 25 yarsecs of council chairman residence. Huh. No more than two shields to be in concurrent use without the express written consent of the local council liaison. 
Failure to comply with regulations may result in suspension of council membership. Quite on, this council is unknown to me, but to each their own. The shield technology is perfect for our journey. No one has to get hurt, and we can show our true peaceful intents. Each shield needs arg, so better get the factory up and running. Go in peace, traveler. Shields! Now if I can get enough arg to power them. Okay. Special shield. Let's see if I can get this so we can get a little bit more power. Well, we certainly have a lot of arg. I guess this is the other direction I want to go. Alright. So yeah, let's... Let's daisy chain shields out this direction. See if I can nullify both the Spore Launcher and the... Uh, let's see. Both the Spore Launcher and the... Power Limiter. There we go. That should be nice and connected. Let's, uh... Get one cannon up in here just to keep the creep off of me. And if I'm really lucky, I'm not. I'm not quite. It's okay. I believe I can move these around. Yes. Okay, so let's swing you over here. Because these should work fine. Special weapon nullifier. Admittedly, I'm putting a lot of my eggs in one singular basket, but taking out one of the spore launchers immediately it seems like good ideas. I love the visual for the shield effect. Like, I think that's visually probably my favorite part of this game, which I realize is just kind of a, a shiny shader on top of... Uh, just kind of a, a dome 3D model, but you know what? I'll take it. Hey, and now we've got power. More power, at least. Special shield. There? Yeah, it looks like that's fine. And then we'll want to see if I can boost the mines. Nope. Didn't quite work. I even made this a honeycomb, so you can't, like, try and speedrun build out here. Uh, let's see, weapon. Let's get a missile. And then a couple cannons. No matter what, this area needs to be relatively well defended. As I will be a, a sad person. Looks like we've got so much arg, though, that I don't think we'll run out anytime soon. Okay. Let's chain some daisies here. So I'll put that there. Uh, let's see, terraform. Uh, let's see. Honestly. Let's just set that up. Grab her two terps. Get them out here. Which, in retrospect, we do need some towers to actually connect these these bad boys. There we go. Okay. So I have to activate the totems, collect one more item, item. Nullify enemies, the reclaim scares me. Or is it not raining anymore?
I think it stopped raining. No, there it is. I was wondering about that. Well, I guess we have a couple of different options. Because it looks like the rain isn't that bad. It's mainly just that there's so much of it. But if I get enough energy generation, I believe I could actually exist without the need of shield generators. Oh, other other point to be made. Pylon here. Pylon here. I might actually be able to move this. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can set up a really aggressive defense here. And beat back this area. Doesn't look like it. Okay. No! Actually, it is, it is working. I'm gonna grab this here. And very quickly make an e-portal. Because if I can actually increase the amount of... Funding I've got. This could work for me. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Energy collection or energy generation. Well, we don't have any... We don't have much for mines. Let's just do energy collection for now. Let's see, and this is going to take forever in two days. Oops, let's not blow that up like a fool. Bring that in a little closer. I should put it back. There we go. Okay, so we absolutely do have space here. Alright, so next order of business. Let's actually start maximizing the amount of land I'm utilizing. Yeah, I don't actually need the shields to do well. I just need a lot of guns. I probably still want to plunk a shield generator over here, but that's later, later stuff. Here's a question. Uh, how much am I using? I'm not using much. Uh, one mortar. Let's see. I'll put this bad boy here. And then actually make him make him into a bit of a monster. And then we do the exact same out this direction. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's see. Where's the where's the other turp? Because I think the other big issue is we're just going to need this. I, whatever tech is in there, I'm hoping is intelligent. Oh, uh, is intelligence. I'm hoping it's power based. Ah, oh, yes, the Imperial Guard, the Wall of Guns. I someday I'm going to do like a Lancer campaign. And it will straight up just be like one of one of the main enemies is just going to be multiple guns in a wall-ish formation. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, I guess that is connected. Now that I'm looking at it. Actually, glad I backed Lancer. Lancer is good stuff. I should have another. Let's. Nope, I don't. Well. Are there any others on the map? No. <sighs> okay. When I get the chance, I will absolutely do a Lancer campaign. Time is never quite on my side. Let's see. Maybe, I, maybe after Wholesome Marches is, like, near completion, I'll start looking into it, or I don't know. The problem is I need... I, I've... I'm a man of many talents and many, many projects and many dreams, and so, like, from my perspective, I desperately want to play, like, loads of different games. Oops. No, that didn't work. And so, I want to do a Lancer campaign. I want to do some DD campaigns. I want to write books. I want to do all sorts of things. Okay, so this is done. Uh, let's see. So let's do Terraform. Let's cancel this. That. All right, there we go. I lost something. Data data analyzer initiated. Analysis of data record follows. Chrono dating indicates an age of over 12,000 standard Earth years. Plain text record follows. Pers personal log, Varno Hela. 0139 Salas. Experiments with shielding seem to have been successful. I have the highest hopes that the Council will see fit to introduce this technology on a larger scale. The war against the Creepers waged over waged for over seven cycles now, and we lose ground every day. The Archon Conglomerate once counted over 100,000 member worlds among its ranks. Now we have maybe a few thousand left. Among those, there are several hundred with active Creeper invasions, and on each, well, as we have seen no world ever successfully repel a Creeper invasion. This world of Nitram has remained untouched so far, but I fear this will not last. When the Creeper does come, I will bury our re records deep underground. I reason to believe that af after the Creeper scrubs this world, a few artifacts underground might survive. If you're reading this, I hope you have somehow found a way to counter the Creeper. Remember, remember us and rebuild. Oh no, they clearly didn't make it. Okay. Mortar. 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 Uh, let's see. Back here. Let's get a... Pylon down. Okay. Pylon here? Yeah, there we go. Because what I'd like to do is leave uh, leave my shield generators around pylons that are further out. Instead of defending spots that don't necessarily immediately need defending. I guess I should have probably loaded up some guns here. But it's okay. Because I potentially could have created a gap space like this. Okay. Cannon. 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 So the one problem is, I'm not going to... I'm going to have to build more cannons. I... I pretty much cannot actually move any of my guns. Luckily, just keeping cannons around does not actually cost me energy. Let's see. This guy I will move around. 
gladly. Same thing with this one. Because these guys are perfect for just clearing out large areas. I think I'm going to want to make my way for the Spore Launcher. That's that's my next goal. goal. So is Creeper like an Acid Fog? It's, it's like a Nanite Swarm uh, that effectively destroys everything in its path. Uh, that is specifically controlled uh, by an extrastellar race. I don't actually know if the, the race is going to get brought up on this one. I have to spend so much on repairs. Let's see. Gun there, gun there. Gun there. I guess I could fly some of these out if I wanted to. Ah, oh, but it'll be fine. Okay. I wonder how much I'm supposed to reclaim. That said, I'm actually doing kind of a bang-up job reclaiming out here. Okay. And the more the more land I grab. Uh, let's see, the more energy I get. Let's take a look at this. Cannon here. Cannon here. Because, yeah, my cannons have just enough range. Uh, let's see. Oops. Destroyed one of my mines. Unfortunately, yeah, we're just going to be taking random damage this whole time. There we go. Can I get that there? So if I can, let's move the big gun out here. Is this a story mission? Yup. Yeah, the story missions for this game are great. They're a little slow, but that's kind of just universally true. Of Creeper World. Uh, let's see, how are you looking? You're looking pretty good. Okay, let's dump those down. This is looking pretty pretty snazzy. We want to make our way out this direction. Oh, did I lose something? I did. Oh, my miner was destroyed. Maybe... Oh, that's a refiner. That's a miner. Where's my... Where's the spare shield generator? If this area is getting bullied, let's bring a miner out. My income is worth it anyway. So is it like a mix between tower defense and a cultivation game? Is that about right? I... kind of. There's no actual really farming. Technically I have these uh, soylent fields that get put down around the base of my, to my towers. But that's... that's the extent of the actual farming. But otherwise, yeah, it is... it is very solidly a, a full-on tower defense. It's just your enemies are... I, I'm i gonna say the enemies in this are a lot more interesting just from like a no one else has done this before kind of thing. Uh, but it's a lot more interesting than most other tower defense games. Which I'm really big on. If you ever played StarCraft... Like, OG StarCraft. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Was that just a tower that got destroyed? Where's the cannon destroyed? Oh. I don't actually know where that cannon was destroyed. But back when I was a kid, I used to play a lot of StarCraft 1, and one of my favorite things to do was to just 
utterly bury a map in... Uh, like, just completely bury a map in photon cannons. There was just something really satisfying about it. Let's see. Oh. It actually managed to survive. Let's just make three and start kind of pushing this direction. Because if I can take that out, that cuts down on a lot of defense I'm going to have to do. Oh, you know what? I have, like, zero missile defense out here. That would explain some things. Let's see. But this game evokes very similar feelings to that kind of goofy tactics in StarCraft. Game's the definition of Turtler. It it is, and I love it. Because there aren't a whole lot of... I mean, straight up, there are barely any good base defense games out there. I was... I had the highest hopes for... Uh, let's see. For Fortnite. Back in the day. Back when I... You know, Fortnite was still in development. I was like, oh man. You know, you build a... You build a, a big base. Uh, seven days to die style. And... Then it's got some, like, orcs must die in there with the, uh, with the traps... And then it came out, and then it was just a terrible Skinner box. Okay, I can move move things out of the shielded zones at the very least. Because no rain falls there anyway. Uh, let's see, but I should probably have some backup guns to make up for it. Not many, just, just to make sure that I don't have any empty spots. There we go. Because I... I absolutely adore the idea of what Fortnite kind of originally promised to be. You know, you build your base up, you defend it. Uh, let's see, you go out, you grab resources, and then, you know, periodically big waves. Really, I guess all I'm looking for is just seven days to die, but not hideous to behold. I'm not even sure if that would actually take much to do. But, you know, instead they just wanted to make as much money as possible. I guess I can't necessarily fault developers for that, because that's how you feed your families and make other better games, and like, to some degree, I know it's in vogue to hate on Epic Games, but like, I'll grant, I'll take, I'll take Fortnite's sacrifice, uh, if it means the epic mega grant keeps getting thrown around to rad games left and right forever. Because there's a lot of games that I've really enjoyed out of this year that have at least some of their existence owed to epic just throwing money at them. And it's like, alright, I guess I'll take that. Would have been nice to not, but still. The Seven Days to Die has some pretty meh graphics now that you think about it. It is horrid. I... The first time I ever played Seven Days to Die, I legitimately thought the game was a joke and just like a bad asset flip. It, I, I think it took like multiple years before I was really ready to accept that it was, no, this is a legitimately like good game. But that presentation was just, ah. Yeah, Fortnite can still be good with a uh, with original game if they tried. Yeah, if they if they wanted to. I see a fellow fellow save the world backer. I take it. Yup, I threw a lot of money into save the world. I like I said, I don't necessarily regret it. I just would love to see them take another crack at it or pay somebody else to take another crack at it. Still couldn't convince me to reinstall the Epic Games launcher on your PC. That's totally fine. I mean, almost every game that gets made via the Epic, uh, the Epic Mega Grant gets put on Steam anyway, so, like, the whole Epic Game Launcher thing always just feels, eh. I get why people don't like it, but I don't see why everybody needs to be angry about it, especially because the games that actually launch there are usually, like, really incomplete. Uh. 
Let's move this one out. Some of these guns don't need to be here. So, uh, what's a good example? Ooblets. I love Ooblets. I think it's an adorable game. Oh, we should probably get some uh, pylons out here. I don't think we have enough energy moving to fund all this work. There we go. But I adore Ooblets, but it is not a state that I would recommend unless you're fine with early access products. And so I know a lot of people are like, it needs to be on Steam or I'll hate it forever. And it's like, no, 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 no. You get it when it's good. Don't, don't be demanding the bad version of a game just because you want it now. That's crazy talk. Uh, let's see. And then, you know, by the time it actually finally hits Steam, it's going to be a legitimately decent game. Or at least compared to where it was on Epic. I don't know. Okay. We're actually, we're rolling this level. I, when I saw the rain, I thought we were going to be buried and this was going to be like survive X minutes, but nope. I'm, I'm actually, I'm making it somewhere here. Yeah, Hades is a per perfect example of that. Exactly. Yeah, I'll eat my cookie dough before it's cooked, sir. Hey, I'm not, I, I, I'm not saying that's the wrong choice. I'm just saying that, uh, uh, I, I have this problem with early access games that I personally expect the, the cookie dough to be, gosh, I love that. Here, I'm actually, I'm going to just pause for a second. I'm going to steal that. In terms of, like, phrasing. I'm just going to write that down. Hopefully I'll remember exactly. Uh, let's see. Uh, hopefully I will remember it when I actually write the script for this video, but that'll be okay. Uh, let's see. So wonder what you're saying is that because early access funded and a place where you can play the game before it hits Steam fully polished and ready to play. Yep. If any of you guys have ever seen itch.io, it's the exact same concept. Uh... The only thing is, itch.io doesn't really throw around a whole lot of funding, uh, whereas Epic does. So most of the early access products put on Epic are probably going to be a fair bit better. Not all of them, but still. Uh, let's see. Did I say something? What's with the clap? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, so how are we looking? I think we're good. We lost a cannon. Hey, we did lose a cannon. Okay. Let's get some pylons out here. Just so these don't run out of juice. So yeah, my gen is fine. My usage really hasn't gone up because it's not raining any harder. And yeah, I, I won't deny that they don't have ulterior motives and like a bunch of other things if we really want to get into the, the arguments from that. But from like an industry benefit perspective, I really can appreciate what they are trying to do. Plus, and I highly doubt it's because of them, but we did get a Half-Life Alex, which was a continuation of the Half-Life story. Uh, I have no idea if Valve would have done that in a vacuum or if they actually feel like there's a, a fire under their butts. But I, I would love to see ambitious Valve actually doing its thing again, as opposed to sleepy Valve that doesn't get shit done ever. So is there nothing you can do to stop the rain? I can leave the level. Uh, but that's going to take some time, because I, I effectively have to reclaim most of the map. I love old-school Valve back. 
I, like, some part of me hopes that we see, like, a weird AAA renaissance uh, go by uh, sometime in the next couple of years. Uh, let's see. Where a number of these, like, bigger companies either step back and decide, like, okay, this isn't working anymore, uh, or this won't continue to work. Let's go for a better, a better style. Uh, or for people to just kind of replace them. Uh, what's a good example? Well, actually, not exactly an example, but... A couple, couple days ago? Was it yet? Just yesterday. I think it was just yesterday we got the news that two major, like, studio leads at Bioware uh, quit. Like, one of them, I think, was more of a general manager kind of guy, and the other was, like, the creative lead for Dragon Age 4, which is spooky. Yeah, the renaissance is going to be when AAA eats a bucket and indie companies become AAA. I, it's already kind of happening. I look at uh, Supergiant. I, I wouldn't exactly call that uh, the perfect example for this. Let's actually, let's move a shield generator out, out here. Because if I can daisy-chain shield generators in such a way that these nullifiers will never get taken down, then we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. But I am I can only assume that Supergiant is going to be more and more successful with every single one of their releases. Uh, to the point where, yeah, I, I give them 5-10 years before Supergiant is actually legitimately super giant and who knows maybe they'll actually keep their studio intentionally small but i i could see them getting larger the problem is power corrupts and usually with these small studios as soon as they start selling out uh they start having to answer to investors and that's always that always gets riskier Because part of the reason why the games industry is at least mildly seen as quote-unquote uncorruptible, uh, at least within, like, indies and, you know, back during the 90s, is because most investors didn't give a shit about video games, and so most of the video game developers were... Oh, that's going to immediately go away. Uh, most of the video game developers were self-funded or funded from not super demanding investors, because nobody, nobody expected anything. Everybody thought video games were dumb. I think Japan might have been one of the only countries that, like, really took game development seriously for quite a while. I'd have to look at the actual, like... Oh, let's see. I'd have to look at the, the actual history of it. But, like, at least in the U.S., it wasn't until the 2000s where investors were like, wait, holy shit, video games are profitable. And now it's, like, an $80 billion industry in the U.S. alone? I have no idea how much it is in the rest of the world. Uh, and so, as you see companies start selling out to investors and so on and so forth, you're going to start seeing more... kind of mediocre practices. Generally moves for, like, DLC or um, over-monetization. Oh, minor. What? Oh, god damn it. But that's why I like the ind industry so much, because it's super rare for those to sell out ever. And anybody can do it. It's like, what? Three, four guys made Hollow Knight? Which is insane. Michelle made a corn dog, and I'm smelling it. I need to ban those from this office. You need to take that plate away so I don't smell it anymore. It smells so... Good. I think that was the last of the corn dogs too. Yeah, five people are making Phantom Brigade. It's always super impressive. I mean, this game. <laughs> let's let's use the the immediately 
obvious one. I, Knuckle Cracker is one guy. I think he might have got some 3D modelers for this one, but I could be wrong. Which, like, that's just incredibly impressive. Oh, pylon. Ooh. I don't think that was a... Yeah, that was. that's actually an unnecessary pylon. I hard to believe this used to be a Flash game. I'm not terribly surprised by that. There's a number of games that got started on Flash games and have come into their own or remained Flash games, but just remained amazing fla uh, Flash games. That's a good one. Well, I mean, Henry Stickman is probably the best immediate, immediate example I can give. Where is... I believe I put one of these super turrets up here. I only have five squares. Looks like I do. That's fine. Yeah, the death of the Flash game was the rise of the indie industry, and you know, I'm totally fine with that. I always felt bad for Flash game developers, because they they don't make money normally, and if they did, the ad, ad bucks were terrible. Oh, is this about done? Hey! That took some doing. Okay, weapon, mortar. Get a couple, of, let's get a couple of mortars down. Just kind of blast that zone. Uh, let's see. Nah, that's fine. There we go. Let's actually put this up here. There we go. Okay, next up, pylon. There we go. So, I think I just want to get this area to be relatively stable. And then I'm probably going to take the, the super cannon and bring it elsewhere. There we go. I wonder if I actually would have been better off Turping up a bunch of, like, upper platforms to put my guns on. That way the rainwater would have just flown off of them. I think it, I think that would have saved me a lot of potential grief, but also wasted a lot of time. As we saw with the last video. Video? Or not the last video. Like, a couple couple missions ago when I when we had the, uh, the duplicating creep along the walls. It's like, well, maybe I don't need to do that. Alright. Well... How much? Oh, I've got I got plenty of this stuff. What if the shield generators? We're just gonna daisy chain shield gens in here. Uh, let's see. I wonder if you can actually fail the whole reclaim thing. Okay. Let's see, back to structure. Line that up. So it looks like it takes... Oops. It takes about 20 arg to make... Yeah, it's 20 arg to make one of these guys. I wonder how much it costs to power them. It doesn't really say. It's 
It's about one arg per second, give or take. Power destroyed. There. Here. I think that's fine. Because I'm not really trying to keep this clear. I'm just trying to keep it clear enough. There we go. And these should power themselves. So let's get a refinery down. I wonder if the refinery will actually mine crystals that are currently submerged. I guess it doesn't matter that much. I want to say thank you for all the content over the years. Yeah, no problem. I had a, I had a lot of fun doing it. And welcome in. Uh, let's see. How's this going? It's powered. I think we just wait. I don't want to do any more work here. So let's just let this finish up. Because I think these will just connect to each other. Well, not to each other. But as soon as they get the liftic, we get some serious shield generation off of these. There we go. Get out of here. Perfect. All right. We're almost done. There we go. That was a fun mission. The rain was spooky. Oh man, I can't wait till we get like way further in. Like what other mechanics have they introduced? We will see.